Welcome to Action Corp TV. I'm Seth and we're down here in Craig's basement tonight in front of his arcade main machine. Craig found the shell for his in a dumpster, but another friend of ours named Jason actually built his from the ground up using plans he found on the internet. Take a look. Our next Action Corp segment is going to focus on a friend of ours, Jason, who is a little shy to be on camera, but uh, this is his cocktail main machine. This is something he has personally constructed out of a Celeron PC. His monitor is in here, his PC is down in here. He's built this case, he had this glass custom made, and he has built this from the ground up off of plans he found on the internet. One of the only pieces he couldn't make himself was this glass, the top of the cocktail machine. He actually had a local glass company cut it. It only cost him about 40 bucks. One of the more expensive items on this machine are these clips that are holding the glass on. Jason's been a big fan of MAME over the last few years and has collected uh, almost 100 ROMs in here. Right now there are 97 games he can scroll through and kick up anything he wants, anytime he wants. Most of the games he's configured to set up vertically on the monitor, because right now the monitor is actually set horizontally. But the view for someone, either player one or player two, is going to be a vertical view, and so he's had to go in and set up the game to work vertically. He has installed the joystick and four buttons. There's a one player and a two player. The inside is absolutely hilarious looking. It's incredible. It's the guts of a PC outside of the case, hard drives mounted on the side, the button switches are all mounted on. What makes all these buttons function correctly is a device known as the iPack. He's got every button, every joystick movement running into this device. What it does is it takes all those commands and maps them to the keyboard going through the PS2 port. There's a pass-through device that basically makes each one of these things a keyboard function. So moving up, moving down, moving left, uh, fire, jump, everything like that is a keyboard button. It's very cool. Jason got all of these individual buttons from this website right here. Each one of these, it, this wasn't a set, this is he bought a stick, he bought a red button, a green button, a blue button. The joysticks ran him about 12 bucks each and each button cost about $1.50, so it's not a bad deal. This whole system is cooled by two uh, computer fans that he set, one sucking in, one blowing out on either side just to keep a good airflow. Nothing special about them, just a standard computer fan from a local hardware store. The sound coming out of this machine has been produced by some heavily modified PC speakers. Uh, he's gutted them and routed the sound all over the place. I love the inside of this thing, it just makes me happy. Jason happened to have an extra Celeron around the house, so uh, this system only cost him around, he said he put about $400 into it, including the computer he already had. He said otherwise it would probably run you about $600 for everything. This is his main PC now. When we came to the house to shoot the segment, his keyboard, his mouse, his drink were all right here. He was just rolling through the internet, looking at web pages. It was really kind of cool. When I saw it, I got fired up. I'd heard about it, and I was like, this is cool, but now seeing it, if I had the space, if I had the skill, or the attention span, I would love to make one of these things. It was only 600 bucks. He's got every arcade game he wants in his living room. So for $600, you too can have this MAME cocktail machine in your home. If you'd like to see more Action Corp TV, visit our website at actioncorp.net. You can also subscribe to the podcast by going to the iTunes Music Store and searching for Action Corp. We'd love to hear from you. Email us at tv at actioncorp.net to tell us what you thought of the show. Thanks for watching.